It's about a uh, midwife who uh, uh, falls in love with an abandoned uh, baby and starts a project to adopt it. So it's a, it's a very moving story about, uh, about love and, uh, in, in Addis Ababa. Freddie Malone gets a, a map of the world for his 13th birthday, puts it up on his bedroom wall and magically disappears through it to uh, any place in the world uh, and at any time in history. So the first book he's in Nepal uh, and he's on the trail of Mallory and Irving and Hillary and Tennessee. My book, How to Remove a Brain, is a collection of medical trivia. Uh, so it's all about the history of medicine, the history of drugs, uh, folk remedies and snake oil and all sorts of cons and con men. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It was great fun to research. I think it's a fascinating subject. Um, and I'm thrilled. It's uh, been a wonderful evening. Understanding Bracca. I wrote my book Understanding Bracca after finding out that I personally carried a harmful Bracca 2 gene mutation which meant that I had a, a dramatically increased risk of developing breast and ovarian cancer at some point in my lifetime. Um, and unfortunately, there was no book um, out there which um, would have helped other women and men, um, but women in particular, to come to a decision on how to lower their risk of, for example, breast and ovarian cancer. Um, and therefore, I set about writing this book once I had gone through my risk reducing surgery and I was fully recovered. Um, and the book took me um, just over three years to write, and um, amazingly, it was published by Hammersmith Books. This year, um, most of the book Share Some Secrets by Christina Gavitas, published by Poems and Pictures. Christina. <laughs> Earlier, for those of you who follow on social media, 
I said to her, she has to be the most active author in the world because she's constantly busy and doing things. So, Christina, well done. Thank you very much. It encourages children to speak out and, sh and share their troubles and secrets, which avoids children harbouring the secret that can have a detrimental effect on the rest of their life. And winning this, uh, the People's Book Prize for Best Achievement, is uh, a huge honour and is going to have a huge positive impact because the book is helping the NSPCC to help educate children and raise funds for them as well. several finalists and there are two finalists here tonight so yes it's a wonderful way of promoting books for less well-known authors.